Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of JavaScript Made Easy. In this episode, we are going to take a look at the filter method, which is another one of the JavaScript array methods. Let's head on over to the MDN site and take a look at what the filter method is. All right, so as you can see here, the filter method creates a brand new array with all of the elements that pass a test that is implemented by a provided function. So we start with one array and we will use a function to filter out some of the elements into a new array. So the parameters for the filter method are a callback function that tests each element of the array that's being passed into the filter. This takes the parameters of the elements of the original array and optionally the index and the entire array. So you will want to use a function to return a Boolean value of true for any given element that you want to be returned into the new array. Okay, let's take a look in detail at the filter method and see just how easy it is to apply this method in your code. So we start with an array. Again, this is a JavaScript array method. It's not a method we would apply to a string, but it is a method we would apply to an array. So we would start with an array, which as you know, is denoted by the square bracket. An array has a number of elements. It can be an empty array with no elements, uh, or it can have any number of elements, which can be numbers, or strings, or unlike other programming languages, JavaScript will take an array with any kinds of elements. It could have strings and numbers all in the same array. Now, I don't know if any of you had a grandmother who loved bingo, but I did. I remember with fondness all of those long nights in that giant smoky room, sitting for hours, dabbing some ink on those little square papers. Ah, the memories. Those were the days. We're going to look at the JavaScript array method by thinking about how we might make a magic filter to help grandma win at bingo. So like the lotto, bingo has that sort of ball mixer upper machine. We are going to apply a magic filter to the ball mixer upper machine to filter out just the balls that we want so that grandma can win at bingo. So let's take whatever balls are remaining in the ball mixer upper machine. We'll take this as our initial array. So we've got the numbers 2, 12, 7, 1, 38, 10, 21, 8, 31, and 6 as elements of our array. It's so exciting, I can hardly contain myself. I hope grandma wins. Now let's take these balls put them into the ball mixer upper, attach our magic filter, and figure out a way to help grandma win at bingo. But what we're gonna need is the array of numbers, which we have, the balls that are in the mixer upper machine. We're gonna need our magic filter, and the magic filter is actually going to be a function or a JavaScript method the dot filter method. And then what we will get is a new array, hopefully with just the balls that grandma needs to win so that she can yell, bingo. So let's take a look at how we would construct this in JavaScript. First, we'll need our array. So we will declare this array of our balls with each of the numbers corresponding to one of our bingo balls, we will then write a function, our magic filter, so that we can filter out just the numbers that grandma needs. Where we will take a value as a parameter and we will return any value that is less than 10.
So we now have our array, our input. We have our function that will return any values that are less than 10. And now we need to apply that function to our magic filter. And remember that we said that the filter method returns a new array. So we will need to declare our new array, bar winner. And we will set that to balls.filter, which will attach the filter to all of the elements in the balls array. And it will apply the magic filter function. And we should then be able to console log winner and see that this returns only the elements of the balls array that are less than 10. And we should be able to console log balls and see that all of the elements still remain in the balls array. We haven't removed any elements from that array. We've created a new array with just the elements that we want. So let's drop this into, let's just drop this into the control panel. And see what happens. Oh, we've got an error. Made a typo here. We want to return any value that is less than 10. Okay, and we see that we've console logged winner and filtered out any numbers under 10. So if grandma has a bingo card with lots of numbers under 10, we can apply the magic filter and the numbers two, seven, one, eight, and six will get returned and none of the numbers over 10 will get returned. But we can also see that our original array of balls is intact. All of those elements remain in the original array. Okay, so we started out with an array, in this case representing all of the balls remaining in the ball mixer upper machine. We created a function that would return only the values that are less than 10. We then declared a new array and called the filter method on our original array, passing in our callback function of magic filter as a parameter, which returns to us the output, our new array, with only the numbers 2, 7, 1, 8, and 6, since they are less than 10. Grandma can now splot away at her bingo card two, seven, one, eight, and six, and grandma gets to win at bingo. Everybody's happy. Woohoo! So as you can see, the filter method is pretty easy to apply. It can be used in a number of ways in your code.